In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from meters to centimeters and from centimeters to meters. So let's say if we have five meters, how can we convert this into centimeters? First, let me give you the shortcut method. To go from meters to centimeters, what you want to do is multiply by 100. If you need to go backwards from centimeters to meters, you need to divide by 100. So keep that in mind. Now the conversion factor that we're going to use is this one. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So for those of you who want to show your work, here's what you can do. Start with what you're given. That is five meters. Let's put it over one on a fraction. Now, in the second fraction, we need to determine what to write on this fraction. So there's two parts to the conversion factor that we have on the top right. One part of that is going to go on the top and the other part is going to go on the bottom. So let's start with the one meter portion of that conversion factor. Should we place it on the top? or on the bottom, what would you say? We want to put it on the bottom because we want the unit meters to cancel. And so the other part, the 100 centimeters, we're going to put it on top of the second fraction. So this tells us that we need to multiply since both of these numbers are on the numerators of the fractions. So it's going to be 5 times 100, which is 500 centimeters. So that's the answer for the first example. Now, for the sake of practice, let's try two more examples. Go ahead and convert 3.6 meters into centimeters and also 0.29 meters into centimeters. Feel free to pause the video and try those two examples. Let's start with the first one. So let's rewrite what we're given on a fraction. Now we're going to put the 1 meter on the bottom and the 100 centimeters on the top of the second fraction. So it's going to be 3.6 times 100, which is 360 centimeters. So 3.6 meters is equivalent to 360 centimeters. Now let's try the second example. We're going to follow the same setup. We're going to multiply it by 100 centimeters per 1 meter. So these units will cancel. So it's going to be 0.29 times 100. And all you got to do is move the decimal two units to the right. And this will give you 29 centimeters. And that's all you need to do when converting from meters to centimeters. Now let's talk about going backwards. So let's say if we have 49 centimeters, we want to convert this into meters. How can we do this? Well, this time we're going to have to divide. But let's set up our first example. So let's write what we're given, 49 centimeters. So because we have centimeters on the top of the first fraction, we're going to put that same unit on the bottom of the second fraction. So we're going to use this part of the conversion factor. So we're going to write 100 centimeters on the bottom and the other part, 1 meter, on the top so that these units cancel. So as you can see, the 100 is on the bottom, which tells us we need to divide 49 by 100. When you're dividing a number by 100, to get the answer, move the decimal two units to the left. So it's going to be 0.49 meters. So that's how we can convert from centimeters to meters. Now for practice, let's try two more examples. Go ahead and convert 8.5 centimeters into meters and also 0.7 centimeters into meters. So let's write down what we're given, and we're going to multiply this by 1 meter divided by 100 centimeters. 
So it's going to be 8.5 divided by 100. So let's move the decimal one, two spaces to the left. So it's 0 0.085 meters. That's the answer for this example. For the next one, let's follow the same pattern. Let's multiply 0.7 centimeters by 1 meter over 100 centimeters. So 0.7 divided by 100, this is going to be 0 0.007 meters. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert from meters to centimeters and centimeters to meters.